What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video. And today I will be showing you guys step by step how you can make a cartoon head. Who I'm using for this tutorial is a very successful YouTuber, go by the name of Perfect Labs. Make sure y'all go check her channel out, it's lit. She got great content. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe post notification so you will be notified every time I drop some heat and without further ado let's jump right into it first thing you want to do select your picture drop the opacity down it's good enough where it won't blend in with your line work add a layer on top and right here is where I set my pen pressure sensitivity but you have to have a, a digital art pad or art tablet to be able to get this pressure option right here. So you don't have no, no little digital tablet, you can't get that, that pressure, the pressure brush. So if you can't, if you don't got a tablet, your best option is to use the, the pen tool which is more time consuming but you can still get some great quality work you know with the pen tool you just gotta sit here and just keep bending the lines think about it what you can do is to get that look if you click you see you get them lines where it look like got the little sharp points but that's if you don't have a, a a tablet a digital art tablet so I'm gonna make a tutorial on that too how to use the pen tool me making artwork with just the pen tool so for all the people who don't have one they can still get some dope some dope results you feel me look first thing i do when i'm starting on a cartoon i, I go over the eyes first and the key to making these these type pictures is the line work the better your line work is, the better the picture will turn out to be. So make sure you're taking your time when you're making it. Now we finished with the line work. I sign to go in, you know what I'm saying, add the detail. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight the line work. Go to object, expand appearance, go to the pathfinder and click merge. So we can make all our lines one. After we do that. We're going to go to our layer tab and drag our layer to this blank sheet of paper. To make a copy, we're going to lock the top layer, select the second, and we're going to find a good skin tone to use. We 
do that. I'm gonna click our selection tool, select our color, then we're gonna send the color to the back. And then you'll look over at your, your layers tab and you'll see your line work on top of your colors. That's how you know you did that step right. And with our selection tool, we're gonna select everything together again. And we're gonna make the color and the line work one. So we're gonna merge it together. Now we can right click this and right click the color and click isolate selected group. And what that gonna do is, it's gonna make it where we can click color separate so we can do whatever. So I don't want this. That's why when you draw and make sure that you close everything off because it's kind of like the paint bucket tool so you got to make sure everything is closed off so i don't want this added color so i'm just select it and click delete i want my hair to be black If you want to color multiple things at once, all you got to do is hold shift while you select. And then just select multiple things at once. Just to be red. Okay, now that we got the got the base color down, now it's time to do our shading and our shadows. So we're gonna go from darkest to lightest. So we're gonna start out by locking that layer, adding a new layer between. Drop the tool so we can see how we need to blend. Let's see. It's best most of the time when you're shading to put the shadow where you feel it go like don't because most of the time the picture don't have a good shadow to it that you can follow so you just gotta freestyle it so just go with the flow like whatever you think I look better
And we're gonna make another layer. And we're gonna go a little lighter with the shadows. color balance we're gonna try to see Now we about to add one more layer for the highlights on the skin. Cool little 
fake to the eyes. There you have it. That's how you make a cartoon head, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. More heat coming soon. And I'm out this time.